हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अवर नेक्स्ट फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग क्लास आई होप यू आर लर्निंग फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग एंड टू प्रैक्टिस द एक्सरसाइज फाइल्स इन अवर टूडेज क्लास वी टॉक अबाउट द वाउचर्स एंड द जर्नल द पॉइंट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी टॉक अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ अकाउंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू डेबिट एंड क्रेडिट रूल्स विच हैव बिन डिस्कस इन अवर previous lecture and the flow of transaction in the previous lecture in our today's class we will talk about the flow of transaction we discuss this and start this point in the previous lecture but due to the time constraint we not discussed in detail the flow of transactions in our today's class we will see that what is the difference between simple entry and compound entry and we will see that what is meant by voucher and what is the journal format of journal journal the third step of flow of transaction before starting our today's class i will share a beautiful quote of mr charles scott with you that is creativity is great but not in accounting with this quotation i have start our today's class as we have discussed that we have seen the difference between simple entry and compound entry simple entry means that entry is one in which only two accounts are effected means to say simple entry is the entry who have effect the two accounts one is debited and second one is credited for example mr john purchase of furniture uh, 10000 dollar in this transaction two accounts are effected the first one account is furniture and second one account is cash the furniture account is debited by 10000 dollar and the second account is credited by 10000 dollar that is cash account on the other hand if we talk about the compound entry compound entry is one in which three or more accounts are effected for example mr charles purchase a goods 10000 dollar partially on credit 5000 dollar it means ke he is paying 5000 dollar in cash and get the goods on credit with 5000 dollar in this transaction we have seen that three accounts are affected first one is goods second one is cash and third one is creditors the goods is debited by 10000 cash and creditor is uh, credited by 5000 dollar in the next point we have seen the what is meant by voucher voucher is the documentary evidence uh, in a specific format that record the detail of transaction means to say ke voucher is the document that uh, describe the detail of the transaction we have seen the two simple uh, voucher in the first voucher we have seen that this vo- value of this voucher is 500 dollar and this is the gift voucher of a company and the second voucher in which we have seen that in the top of the uh, uh, voucher we have seen the company name company name is abc and the next row we have seen the voucher type that is purchase voucher in the next row we have seen that the date of transaction and serial number of that particular voucher at the end in the bottom of that voucher we have seen the detail of this voucher so our next discussion point for today's class is general journal general journal is used to record the financial transactions means to say the vouchers in a chronological order day to day order Uh, uh, sometime it is called original book of entry and sometime it is called day book means to say that we cannot record it the transaction uh, in the journal journal in uh, disturbance order we cannot record the transaction of 29th february uh, in the first and then we record the 20th uh, uh, of transaction in the second but we record the transaction into the general journal in a proper or chronological order or day to day order this is the general general and then uh, we take an, an example of uh, for better understanding of the general journal and uh, we have put the values in the general journal format we have taken an example of small traders 
for the month of March, the first transaction of this uh, is uh, started business with cash $95,000. Second transaction is purchase goods for cash $40,000. Purchase goods on credit from Mr. Big Trader $57,000. Next transaction is sold goods for cash $5,000. Next transaction is purchase office equipment for business $4,000. Next transaction is open bank account and deposit $10,000 in it. Paid bank charge is $100. Sold goods to Mr. Mohsin for $5,000 and receive cash $1,000. In the second last transaction, we have seen that the paid electricity bill $500. And the last transaction, we have seen that he is paying salaries $3,000 from bank. Now we have seen uh, that how to put these transaction into the journal journal. First of all, uh, in the journal, we have uh, write the uh, company name of that company. And in the second row, we have write down the uh, transaction month. Uh, in this example, we have seen that this transaction belongs to the month of March. So that we have write uh, for the month of March. After that, now we have seen the journal journal format it have five columns first one is serial number it means the transaction serial number and second one is date and third one is detail of that transaction and then debit and credit now we will take uh, our transaction one by one and put into the journal journal our first transaction is start business with cash $95,000 the serial number is uh, 1 and the date is 1st March. The detail, uh, we have seen that uh, this transaction affects how many accounts? 2 are um, more than 2. Because we have uh, learned that uh, the transaction have 2 types, simple entry and uh, compound entry. This transaction is a simple entry because it affects 2 accounts. The first one is cash account and second one is capital account. The cash account is debited uh, by 95,000 because cash account is belong to the uh, efforts and effort are increasing according to the rule of debit and credit when the effort is increasing it will be debited. On the other hand uh, if we talk about the capital account, capital account is belong to owner equity account and uh, owner equity is belong to uh, our liability portion when the owner equity increases it will be credit so that we have 95,000 balance in credit side. In the second transaction we have seen he purchased goods for cash. In this transaction two accounts are affected. First one is goods and second one is credit, uh, cash. Uh, both accounts is related to the uh, effort. One effort if decreases means to say goods uh, are belong to effort and effort is increases so that it will be debited by 40,000 and the second account will be credited because the effort is decreases by 40,000. In the third transaction we have seen that he purchased goods on credit from Mr. Big Trader 57,000. Dollar. It this transaction is also affected uh, of two accounts. First one is goods. And second one is creditor. Good with our asset, creditor with our liability. When the good with uh, asset is increasing, it will be debited by $57,000. And when our liability or payable increases, it will be credited so that the creditor account will be credited by $57,000. In the fourth transaction, we have seen that he sold goods for cash $5,000. Uh, so that this transaction will also affect the two accounts cash and goods cash account is debited by five thousand dollar and goods account is credited by five thousand dollar in the fifth transaction we he purchase office equipment for business four thousand so that the two accounts is also affected office equipment and cash office equipment is coming to us and cash is going from us uh, we have learned this uh, rule uh, income and uh, outgoing so office equipment is coming it will be debited by 4000 and cash is going from us it will be credited by 4000 in the fixed transaction that is on uh, 26th march uh, open bank account and deposit $10,000 in it so that the bank account and cash account will be affected bank account is debited by 10000 and cash account will be credited by 10000 in the seventh transaction we have seen that he paid bank charges by $100 
and this transaction will also affect the two accounts first one is bank charges and second one is cash account so bank charges account will be debited by 100 dollar and cash account will be credited by 100 dollar in the next transaction we have seen that sold goods to mr mohsin for 5000 rupees cash uh, 1000 dollar this transaction is the compound entry because this transaction affects the three accounts first one is cash account and debitor account second by third one is goods account because goods is going from us we are filling that goods so that the cash account and debitor account will be the debited by 1000 dollar and 5000 dollar and goods account will be credited by 5000 dollar in the second last transaction we have seen that he paid electricity bill our expenses is increasing when uh, the our expenses is increasing it will be debited and cash will be de decreases it belongs to our effort and effort is decreases so that uh, electricity bill will be debited by 500 dollar and cash will be credited by 500 dollar in the last transaction uh, paid salaries by 3000 dollar from bank it means that our bank is decreases and bank is belong to our effort it means that our effort is decreases and when our effort is decreases it will credit and whenever our expenses is increases because in this transaction we have paid salaries and salaries belong to our expenses and expenses increases when expenses is increases it will be debited by 3000 and bank account is credited by 3000 so dear students uh, this is the journal journal uh, the second step of flow of transaction i hope you are learning and i will suggest you to download the exercise file the link of this file is uh, pasted in the description uh, please uh, download these files and practice it hope that you are learning financial accounting with virtual student support services thank you take care